Welcome to our latest edition of Five Insightful Minutes. I'm Ann Mazinga. And I'm Chris Walton. And today we are going to put one of the managing directors from the AM Consumer and Retail Group, Heyman Kalbog, on the hot seat for the next five minutes as we discuss AM's Holiday Survival Guide for Retailers. Hey, Mon, let's start with this. Your holiday survival guide shared the challenges of this holiday season. So set the stage for us. What should we expect from consumers and retailers? So we are anticipating a really tough holiday season. I think inflation is, is at an all-time high. I think overall inflation at 8% probably disguises individual categories where food is up 12 to 15%, gas is up up to 40%. Uh, even airline tickets and, and uh, are up 40%. It's just there is tremendous inflation that's going to impact the wallet of the typical consumer. So I think consequently, I think retailers should anticipate a tough holiday. Um, and from a consumer standpoint, if I put on that lens, I think consumers are going to be doing a few different things. One is absolutely they're going to be trading down. So I think trading down to more generic brands, trading down to, to more economical brands is going to be a big trend this season. Um, additionally, I think consumers are going to be doing a lot more price shopping um, and looking for sales. Right. And so I think that's, that's a trend that I think retailers can actually capitalize on. And then I think just because the last couple of years where we were stuck at home a lot more, I think people have spent a lot more this year on experiences. So I think there will be postponement. And I think probably a tighter spend on gift giving. And so those are the three big trends that we see the consumers acting on this holiday season. Well, given that, Hamon, what are the no regret actions that should be top of mind for retailers and retail leaders as they work through the challenges of the next six weeks? Well, candidly, holiday is mostly locked in by now. Um, right. So I think there's a few things retailers can do. I think they can mark down early. They can be more strategic in their pricing and promotions. Uh, but really, I think starting to think about what the rest of the year looks like, uh, at least from a calendar standpoint, is a good strategy. So, so I think thinking about structural cost resets that support the business in the year to come is something that I think all retailers are going to be thinking about. But at this point, really, I think holiday is fully baked in. So I'm not sure, given the fact that we're talking uh, Thanksgiving week, there's a lot that can be done to impact holiday results. Yeah, one thing that can potentially impact holiday result, results, of course, is the level of discounting that retailers are going to take. So, so what are you? What are the key benefits of discounting as a strategy? And are there certain categories or retailers you'd expect to go deeper with discounting, say, than others? So, I think I think absolutely. I think you're absolutely right, Chris. I think uh, marking down earlier and then going deeper as the season mm -hmm. progresses is absolutely a good strategy to adopt to preserve top line albeit at the cost of giving up a little bit on margin. The benefit of doing that is at the end of the season, you're not sitting on a bunch of unproductive inventory, which is candidly a bigger issue to deal with in the long run. In terms of categories, we think it's going to be across the board. Um, obviously, uh, you know, some of the discretionary spending items, whether it's fashion or it's home, I think we'll see more of that than in food and grocery. Uh, but I also anticipate that luxury is not going to be immune from this in this mm -hmm. go around. Mm -hmm. Well, Hamont, you mentioned that excess inventory, it's been piling up at a lot of retailers as a result of over exuberant buying after macro supply chain improvements. What can retailers do to manage their surplus supply of goods? You know, one of the biggest challenges retailers have had is the uncertainty of demand because of the last two years. And that was compounded by supply chain constraints so I think most retailers went overboard to have a lot more safety inventory anticipating a similar holiday season. Uh, that's not going to play out. So at this point, there's not a lot you can do. I think you can talk to vendors about delaying some, some of the receipts, canceling orders, but it's probably too late in the season to do that. So one, I think you can think about uh, executing strategies to have the right inventory at the right locations. And then uh, the second thing you can do is uh, be proactive and think about your depletion strategies. So you have a strategy in place that when the season does come to an end, you have a, you have a, um, a process uh, uh, and a um, plan in place to, to deplete that inventory. Thanks, Hamon. Thank you, Hamon.